Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, I want to show you how to edit PDF content in Bluebeam. This is a great tool, especially when you do not have access to the source document. If a document was created in Word or any different software and you don't have the original one to fix it, this is a great tool if you wanna change a text, image, and also a layout on a drawing and you wanna share that in a meeting with the users. So let's jump into a Bluebeam. I can show you how we can make these changes in Bluebeam very easily. So for changing the content, we want to change everything in this janitor room. So we're going to go to the edit PDF content. You can see all of these line items. We can go through one by one. The first one, we're going to start with the, the snapshot. So I want to basically add the door to the room 183. And I want to close the door on the other side and move the mop sink. And we can see the layout. So you can see easily, I can kind of copy and paste the door. I can use the rotation put it on the other side. So, I mean, you can kind of have it open to the right or to the left. That's basically um, your experiment that you can do. The next one, I can go to the cut. So cut, you can kind of uh, cut that uh, uh, image and then paste it. So it's gonna get removed from the PDF and then you can add it somewhere else. So I paste it right now. I wanna bring it to the uh, basically south side of the room and then rotate and then put it over there next to the wall so the next one i want to kind of move all of the kind of valves and everything with it uh with also with the annotation i'm going to do the same thing use the cut basically cut this section it's going to remove it from the page because i'm editing it and it can paste it anywhere that i want and this is a great way if you want in a meeting and you want to show a changes on the 2d drawing if you want to move something from one area move it something else see if it's going to fit so so I want to move it over here because I want to edit the text as well. For this room, I want to change the name or you want to change the number of the room if you want. So the next one, you need to select the text. Let's uh, select 183. And then when you go back, you hit the edit text. So uh, it's basically, it's going to take a minute and then you'll be able to kind of edit the text. If you want to put it over there like 2A or if you want to you know, use the space or a backspace, you just move it back, up and down. You can basically can place it anywhere you want. So just for now, let's just put it back over there. Let's just change it to A154, and you need to hit Escape to get out of that. And you'll be able to kind of see I change everything. So the next one that I'm gonna do, I basically wanna go back uh, to erase. I wanna get rid of the door. So the difference between raise and cut is raise is completely removing it. You won't be able to paste it. But cut, you can basically remove it from one area and paste it in a different area. So I removed the door. I wanna close the door right now at that area. So I wanna go back to the snapshot, get the same basically wall that I have on the drawing. Take a snapshot of that, bring it back over here, paste it and kind of stretch the drawing and it shows that I can I'll be able to kind of close the wall all the way. So right now I kind of change the layout, you know, to kind of show if we move the sink over here, you know, put the door right there and then we can kind of close the door. The next thing you want to look at it if if you want to re redact some annotation. Just want to make sure that redact, uh, redacting the item is going to taking everything away from it. And when you save it, cannot be undone so you got to make sure that when you basically black out any area you always save a copy of the original because it's accidentally you save it you won't be able to undo it right here if you want to put um, like an overlay text that so you can see it in the markup section for yourself see what's going to happen if you had any edit any node and this is all the code editor that you have for redacting you can apply any of those you'll be able to see it each time you go on top of it so when you feel comfortable for whatever you want to remove uh permanently from your drawing you can kind of go back and then apply it so before you apply you get the same um kind of note that what i was talking about so you want to make sure you save a copy uh you cannot 
and done this when you approve and then you hit the advanced you will be able to kind of say okay i want to only remove the text image um, or vector so when you do that you basically place it over there you won't be able to touch it anymore so this is gonna stay you guys can see i basically um, adjust this room and you can see all of these items in the markup tab in Bluebee. you'll be able to see what's going on and you can also edit the 3d pdf if you have a 3d content thank you guys for watching today's episode i am hoping that i was able to add a few tips and tricks to your toolbox if you like the content please subscribe and leave a like and i will see you in the next video mm -hmm.